Hello and welcome to Autograph Tutorial 1. We're just going to start this tutorial with loading up Autograph from our desktop. Just wait for that load. Just to explain this first tutorial is just going to show you some of the basic functions of Autograph uh, and it's also going to explain how to navigate between the different features on Autograph as well. So once Autograph is loaded up it will always start with this opening screen here. If uh, you look along the top menu of Autograph you'll notice that you've got three icons. The first one says New 1D Statistics Package. So if you were to click on that it would actually open a new page and this is all about using uh, raw data and entering it in on Autograph. So if you were to click on this icon here, enter raw data, then you can copy material from Excel and paste it in there and then you can use that for whatever you want. You can use that for cumulative frequency, for bar charts, for all sorts. So I'm just going to close this page that we've opened here because I don't want that open. File, close and we're back on the opening screen again. So this page one is this icon here, new 2D graph page. If we just quickly show you also there is the 3D function here. This is particularly useful for allowing children to see uh, some of the things that they find very difficult to perceive. So if you were to enter in a coordinate, you click on this button here, enter in a coordinate, and they can then see in three dimensions where that coordinate would appear. You can use this grab tool to manipulate it and move it around. Uh, the focus of this tutorial is going to lie with 2D graphing now. So if we go back onto this section, we can see we've got our axis in four quadrants. If you didn't want to have it in four quadrants, you just use the positive quadrant. You can just grab and then move up like so. We are going to work in four quadrants though. And the first thing I want to do is to edit my axes. So I'm going to select this icon here on the top menu, edit axes. And we're going to change the range that we're using for the x and y axis. So I'm just going to put x axis minus 15 to 15, y axis minus 10 to 10. And then I'm going to click OK. That's amended it. Now we can see we're not quite there. There's a couple of other things that you probably want to change. The first thing I want to change is I don't want the x-axis going up in increments of 10. So I'm going to again go on the same icon, edit axis, this time on this side. I'm going to change the increments going up in 10 to now going up in 1s. And I'm going to do the same for the y-axis. There we are. The final thing I want to change is the actual grid that we've got. So again, the grid is only producing lines uh, every tenth unit, so I'm going to change that. Go in and edit axis, and that's where this section is here. So I'll change that so that we've got a grid. There we are. And we, now we have our grid with the amended axes. Uh, just before we finish this tutorial, then we just want to show how to actually plot coordinates. So exactly the same as we did in three dimensions, you'll select this tool here, plot coordinate. And if we want to plot the coordinate for five, it's that simple. And we can see it's going to appear here. Uh, the other alternative way is to use this icon along the side here for point mode. And simply click on it. Choose where you want your coordinate. Okay, so that's the end of tutorial one. If you have a practice on that and in tutorial 2 we'll have a look at plotting straight lines and equations of a line.